Welcome back to MediaBeastro.com's Media Beat. We're here again with MSNBC's Contessa Brewer. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the internet and social media and how that plays into the cable news biz. And you have a pretty strong um, online presence, I would say. And um, do you think that that's something that you do intentionally uh, for professional reasons, or is that just sort of a natural thing right now? Well, I've always been very responsive to viewers. When people call me or email me, um, I would all, I really would try to answer emails and phone calls and you know explain the segment or the question they had or follow up in whatever way. Um, Facebook and Twitter have taken that to a whole different level. And I do find the immediate response gratifying. I mean, there's sort of like, right, we're a culture of immediate gratification. This is getting immediate feedback. But I also think sometimes people on Twitter and Facebook forget that there's a real live person on the other side. And the things they say are venomous. And not just at me, but they're venomous to each other. Some of the conversations that erupt um, in reply to the things I'm thinking about or the stories that I'm covering are really incredible. It, you know, and obviously we, we focus a lot on the negative stuff because that's the stuff that sometimes tends to stay with us. But I'm wondering sort of proportionally how much of it is that sort of uh, vitriolic, you know, stuff that anybody in the um, news biz gets? Probably about 25% of that, I think, is a lot of vitriol. Mm -hmm. I think there are there's about 50% that is really genuine, intelligent discussion or complimentary feedback. I always welcome those. And then about 25% of it is just sort of nonsensical, you know, comments or observations or stuff that doesn't really, it's not useful to me or probably not to anybody who's reading it either. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a wide variety. Yeah. You recently tweeted, um, quit Facebook, not a question mark, not until it becomes very uncool. And That's I That's not how you say it. This is how you say it. Excuse me. Quit Facebook. Not until it becomes very uncool, and I probably won't know until long after that happens. It's off Broadway. Here you come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the question is: Have you thought about quitting Facebook seriously? And uh, because a lot of people have been talking about that right now, and uh, Kevin, not just no, okay. but hell no, <laughs> no, I'm not quitting Facebook. A, a Facebook is. It's the place right now where everybody's going to have these lively, spirited conversations, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, I get to see really cool pictures of, say, you, for instance. If you want to see mm -hmm. what you do not at work, Facebook is the place to do that. Yeah. And <laughs> number three, my mother would kill me if I quit Facebook. Really? Yes. Why? Because she's on Facebook, and that's how she communicates with us now. I see. Yeah. I mean, do you think that this is... That a, and Twitter. I never get phone calls from her anymore. Oh, She's just like 140 she, you, you characters. You tweets from your mother? Yeah. Her handle is Contessa's mom. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> She's not trying to be that private. Yeah, I guess not. Did she ever get feedback from, from oh, viewers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, people email her. if they, people especially they mean things? Yeah, if they don't like what I'm wearing, they <laughs> think to email my mom. Wow. And, and, you know, and sometimes my mom, when she doesn't like what I'm wearing, she puts it out there on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Or Facebook, I can never keep them straight. Do you think that you would, you know, act differently or, or write differently on, on these platforms if you weren't a personality on a yes. television network? Yes, I yeah. would. I would act differently, and my jokes would. I mean, there are things that I that I sometimes type, and then I look at it for a minute and I think about bloggers following me and how that could be misconstrued, and I delete it all and take it all back. And sometimes I respond to people. I mean, I wouldn't maybe I wouldn't have 5,000 friends on Facebook if I weren't on television, but sometimes people say really horrible things and I go to respond to them and then I delete it all and <laughs> pretend like I didn't read it. <laughs> but it sits with me and the ache hurts. Oh, I'm really sorry <laughs> to hear that. Uh, that's the end of our interview with Contessa Brewer. Um, Contessa, thank you so much for coming by. Nice to see you. It. Um, this has been MediaBistro.com's Media Beat. With Kevin Alaka. With Kevin Alaka. Alaka.